Here we are, day one of the build. Just about to jump in. Not sure if I've bitten off more than I can chew, but there's only uh, one way to find out, right? So, uh, yeah, what's the order of the preferences for today? I think I've got to get the shed clear, get the ute out of here, um, grab the steel and chuck it on the floor in the rough arrangement of the chassis and measure things up and figure it all out, put a bit of a jigsaw puzzle together. Uh, beyond that, um, got to do some uh, interesting cuts, some technically challenging cuts. Uh, got to do a, with a drawbar, uh, A-frame, sorry, bends off the chassis. I've got to um, cut a section out of there and fold it. You can see a diagram up there in the corner on SketchUp. Um, and then uh, also down where the hitch is at the front of the uh, A-frame, there's a couple of interesting cuts to do there. But we'll hook in, get going, and uh, see how things end up by the end of the video, hey? Cheers. Catch ya. Okay, so I've got it mostly set out, but the um, problem that is uh, already arising is that the uh, floor isn't level. And I've checked this by um, straight edge as well as what you'd expect, 150 by 50 mil, three mil steel would be straight. And uh, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of jiggity pokety to get it um, all lined up when I'm welding it. cut out I'm not sure at what point so that's it pretty much set up I should probably move that level out of the way but that's the one uh, all ready to roll just got to do a few tweaky pokies and get some things tidied up and we're ready to roll she's looking pretty good a um, few tweaks here and there but I think I'll get on to grinding this afternoon and just take all the edges off all the fairy bits on the end and take a bit of gal off and where we go It's time to do some cuts. We get all the grinding, all the sides are done, um, ready for welding later on. Obviously, they're all set out. You saw me set it all out. It's looking all right. Um, now it's time to um, get these long chassis rails up, do that notch cut that I showed you before on SketchUp. Take a section out of here and then try and bend this around so we get the A frame coming in at that point. I'm uh, a little apprehensive, but Give it a go. I've got redundancy and the fact that I can just cut it off and weld it, as I said earlier. Wish me luck. So, the calculation I showed you on SketchUp, I meant to end up with a 15 degree angle here, which creates a 13 mil check out here. So I need to cut out a 13 mil piece from there that comes back to nothing on the other side. And then this will fold in that direction, creating a 15 degree angle, which gets me, which gets me the taper I need there to end up with the length of 
A-frame that I have to a space up there that's going to fit the DA35 and end up with the right length. In theory, I've got no idea whether it's going to work. But as I said before, if this doesn't work and I can't fold it and it doesn't really go straight or whatever, I'll just cut straight through there and then get this section which is too long um, and slice a bit off the end at that 15 degree angle and just put it on and weld it all the way around rather than have a continuous piece through the back here which is what I'm trying to achieve. So here we go. Successfully cut it out. Uh, nearly burn a hole in my shirt, but we got there in the end. I'm uh, just got to do the next one now and um, an attempt to fold. Interestingly, when it was laying on its back, like this was laying on its back when I was cutting it, the weight of that hanging off the end of the table already started bending it in the wrong direction, obviously. But I think it's going to be a fairly easy fold once I get that over the edge with a bit of the weight on it. I think it's actually just going to close straight up and then it'll be a matter of getting it at exactly the right angle before tack welding it. See how we go. Okay, we're getting close. Uh, it needs to be at 15 degrees, which you can see she's not quite there yet. Um, got to close that gap up, which means I've got to take it past the end of the table. Uh, need to sort out my setup a bit because it's a bit dodgy at the moment, and I don't want it to overbend or tear or do something crazy. So keep going, see how we go. Right, pretty happy with that. I think it's spot on, 15 degrees. Uh, it's pretty good. I might just tack it with the boulder to hold it there, but I can grind that off later if it's not right. Get it on the floor and then measure the measure the uh, distance of the hitch when the two uh, A-frame rails converge and just make sure it's absolutely right there. And um, But I'll just tack it now so I can get it off without buckling it moving it. See how we go. This is the cheap and cheerful that I'm using to do the tack welds around the chassis just to hold things in place whilst I um, <coughs> move it around and get it all set up and in the right spot ready for a proper weld. It's gasless, it's a little hobby one. Uh, it does the job though, I'll tell you. So I'll just use it to tack up those things around the edges there. Get a bit of strength in them so when I move them they hopefully don't bend. We'll see how we go. Yeah, so that's the beast. Got a few straps in just holding it to see if I can square it up. Couldn't figure out what was going on, but it was one of those welds was catching the corner of that cross member, which is tilting the top out. Got that sorted and she's looking pretty good. I haven't really measured up square. Uh, tomorrow I will 
get it fully straightened up, square, true, and happy, and then tack weld it. Sundays is bun days. Pop down to Bunnings a Sunday morning early, right on opening to uh, grab a MIG welding mask. The one yesterday was an auto darkening, I noticed, and I pulled it apart last night, and there's no accessible rechargeable battery, of course, because it was an eBay cheapie. So yeah, I picked up one that's got an interchangeable battery, which will be good. And as is typically what happens with Bunnings when I come here, is I buy one thing or nothing that I need, but six things that I don't potentially. But anyway, I picked up a new grinder. A uh, big coil of MIG welding wire because I didn't want to run out mid wire mid weld and uh, then have to pop down here. Which so uh, I've got that as backup. Uh, a few more grinding discs and a little rubber mallet. So head back into it. Get back into it today. A bit of cutting to do today. Couldn't get that grinder going in the morning because I pissed the neighbours off. So I uh, thought I'd do a Bunnings quick dash and get back uh, start grinding at a reasonable hour. All right, we've got to get on with it. Catch Bit up. of a late start this morning, but we'll get into it. I'm going to do the hitch plate section where the um, chassis rolls are cut down at an angle, like in the SketchUp picture here. I've got the whole trailer still assembled in a, with straps just all together to try and square it all up and make sure everything's right. Can't believe how perfectly everything turned out in terms of the length and uh, where the chassis rails end up at the hitch distance apart there and the angles are all perfect which is uncanny for me uh then i'm going to do the rear section of the trailer as well where the the rear chassis cross member joins into the chassis rails uh so that's today then i might get to tack it together but probably should wait for the suspension to turn up just so there's no surprises there when it turns up and i've forgotten about some component of it so hopefully that's uh end of this week at some point i'll get that so next weekend we'll be tack welding Till the cows come home uh, and hopefully made a lot of progress by that point anyway let's get into it Okay, so the plan here is to uh, cut the front of the chassis rail where it comes down and meets the hitch. So I'll take this section out on both sides and cut that back to that curved on the edge, curved section on the edge. And I'll fold this down to meet the point here and then weld it. That's the plan anyway. So I've measured them when they're in place just to make sure I had the angles right and uh, see how we go. Success. Got the one side cut, got to cut the other side. I only disintegrated one blade into my face, but uh, you get that on the big jobs, so um, next time I won't try and uh, twist a blade in an open cut, perhaps. Anyway, onto the other side. Well, that's a reasonable success. That was what I was hoping for, but <laughs> didn't factor in the, how much shorter it's going to be when you uh, fold it. Obviously, it's got to travel a lot further on an angle. So it looks like I'll be cutting that at an angle. Not sure yet. I might even be able to cut that square and just make it a bit shorter. I'll figure that out later. Time to tack it before these clamps let go. That's them done. They look pretty good on this side. Just tacked, obviously, a while then when I thing all set up and they're facing up. All right, we're at the back. Uh, last cuts for the day, I've got to head off in an hour or two, so I've just got to knock these over. Just got to cut this section out from here, similar to the last one that I did for the A-frame at the front, where the hitch goes. This is at the rear. It's basically the back main rail that goes across like that. There's going to be one of these cuts on either end. And then the 50 mil frame goes around the outside, butts into it here and welds off. So yeah, 
This will be it for the day. I've done pretty much everything I needed to and I think I'll just pack up all the steel and stack it all off to the side so I can bring my ute back in here over the weekend until the chassis rail, ah, the suspension turns up next week and then I'm full steam ahead, get it all in square and plumb and tacked in, rock and roll. Turned out alright. Fairly neat. One more to go. Gotta do this end. The job's done. gloves don't like the uh, grinder too much. I have to upgrade. Success, good enough for now. Tidied that up, done the other end as well. I've got the ends of the A-frame as well where it meets the hitch. I've done those, both of those. Ground the welds back, still need probably a little bit more grinding but that will do for now. Now it's over to assembling on the floor and maybe even tack welding today, we'll see how we go. So we're at the point where I need to chuck a weld on this chassis, join it together, so now turn it back after this. I have measured this 45 times and uh, adjusted it by millimetres here and there and put a square on it in every single corner I can think of. And I think we're ready to go. I hope so anyway, because I don't have to cut it up again later on if I screw it up. Okay, it's looking good. Pretty happy with how it's turning out. Just got a bit of tension across here on the on one of the corners to just to pull it a little bit, a few millimetres to keep it in perfectly square. Uh, I've got the, these rails running across here that hold the suspension perfectly spaced according to suspension manufacturer's um, weld diagram. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. I've only got these two welded for now. Uh, I'm going to cut these babies here, the little gussets that run from the the rear chassis rail there, and they go into that section there. Uh, I'm going to put those in now, and I'm hoping that that will stop it from twisting a little bit when I release that, that few millimeters it takes it just out of square. Uh, so I'll get those in, and then I'm going to run down the other end and do some measurements and try and get it 
try and get that all perfect and put in a, a cross member that's got to go in the front there as well just again to try and keep it flush and nice and then I'll probably weld the back panel in uh, and I think we're really good to go after that so get stuck in and, and see what happens. Okay, well you just saw me cutting this bit on the drop saw. I've got to try and get this. This is actually the front line of the front wall. So the front wall sits down on this panel. Obviously we're upside down, so this goes at the bottom, which is the top, uh, on the one it's right way up. Now, I know from my SketchUp drawing that this is a certain length at its longest point. And I know that this draw bar should be right on 15 degrees. It's currently about 10 mil off 15 degrees. So what I need to effectively do is pull this forward about 20 mil to open the draw bar up a little bit. So what I've done is put a, put a brace on here so it can't spread there. And I know that these actually move a bit when I put a bit of pressure on the end, I can get them to move. So I'll do it with a, with a ratchet strap. I'll put it around this and I've got it fixed at the front there where the draw bar ends. I'm hoping that when I slowly ratchet, it'll pull this forward and I'll get it dead center. And then I can measure everything Diagonals again, make sure it's perfectly square still. And yeah, job should be dog job done. I'll chuck some tack welds on it and away we go. Let's see how we go. Okay, didn't feel much of that, but there's the cross member in, welded off. I did a pretty solid weld on that because I don't want this to move and it's not structural, so I don't need to do to do it in a couple of weeks time. Um, so I just wanted it done. And then I've just cut this bit out as well on the angles to go into the draw bar there. That's gonna hold the jockey wheel. Still waiting on the mounting plates for the jockey wheel uh, and the jockey wheel itself. So I'm reluctant to weld that off until I've drilled the holes for the mounting plates. Much simpler to do on the drill press than it is to do in uh, position there on, an uh, on a horizontal. So yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, it's all square and true and perfect, which is great. Uh, it's, uh, that's it for now. Coming back this afternoon to finish off a few more bits, but for now I've got to go go-karting with uh, 13 year olds for their birthdays. So I'll see you later. Are you coming to help with the build? Is that what you're doing? Is this caravan going to take you on some big adventures? Is that what it's going to do? It's going to take you on some big adventures? Do you think? I hope it takes on some big adventures. Lots of sticks. Lots of sticks to chase out there. What do you reckon? Hey? What do you think? I think so.